one. Hello everybody, I'm with Connie, and I'm um, Connie Wyatt with Wise Choices, and I um, volunteered to take part in what's called a polar bear plunge, meaning I'm gonna jump into the lake um, in January, January 3rd. It's all for a great cause. Please give to this important um, organization, Wise Choices. Um, but hang on, um, I do have a couple of questions before we proceed, is that okay? It's okay. Okay. All right. Here All we right. Go. Number one, um, are we going to be jumping from a boat or from a pier? From a pontoon boat in the middle of Lake Bridgeport. Oh, okay. A boat. Do you like okay. boats? Well, <laughs> no. I've not really been on many. Maybe on a cruise ship. A little smaller. And then um, I did go fishing this uh, last summer. My first time ever fishing. You can probably yeah. fish while yeah. you're in the water. Yeah. Are you going to fish no. in There's, the water? Well, it depends on how cold the water is. If the water's cold enough, they'll be deep enough. They won't get you. I'm really nervous. You think they'll bite? I <laughs> uh, don't know. Okay. Don't wear perfume. Okay. <laughs> okay, no perfume. Okay. How cold do you think the water will be? Um, well, we looked it up. We did our research because we don't want anybody to like lose a limb or anything. So the water should be about 50 degrees normally on January 2nd. So we're all good. Hypothermia doesn't usually set in until 30, 40 minutes. And okay. so we won't be in that long, I don't believe. Okay. Unless you go dead last or jump first and get out last. Okay. Then your body and okay. And then the rest of us take our time. Those okay. of us that are in first. <laughs> okay. No. Um, how deep will the water be? That's very important. I need to know how deep will the water be? Well, the pontoon boats have depth finders to make sure that we're not like going to jump in and hit something we shouldn't. Okay. I'm going to guess 30, 40 feet deep. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. How long will we be in the water, Connie? Well, I'm going to raise the most money, so I won't be in very long at all. So but the first one to jump has to wait till everybody else jumps and gets out. So, so what I'm hearing you say. <laughs> you want to raise the money. I need to raise the most money, right? Yes. How many competitors are there? There are nine. There are nine. The Hayhurst brothers are jumping, but they're jumping as a team. No, that's not fair. <laughs> not the Hayhurst brothers. As a team. Okay, I'm going to need help. <laughs> a lot of help. I need everyone to donate, please. If you've ever met me, if we went to school together, elementary school, high school, college, if we lived in Louisiana together, um, lived in Houston, uh, Gerald, Georgetown, any city, Springtown, Spring, yeah, Springfield, any town we've ever lived in together, if you love me, will you please give to Wise Choices, this amazing um, organization that um, is just helps so many women. Um, I'm nervous. It's going to be all good. We're going to have Seriously, so much fun. I'm nervous. We're going to have so much fun. We'll get you a floaty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I need a floaty. Thank you, Connie. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you all so much.